a great start to your week. It is Monday, February 15th. And I'm getting my Stampin' Lips on. Ooh, I think I was a little heavy handed with the eye makeup. Yikes, you don't see colors of eyeshadow like that unless you're working some street corners. Oh my, apparently I put my makeup on in the dark. <laughs> I'm like, whew, let's back up. It's not so intense. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. I hope that you guys are excited to be here with me today stamping. I am excited to stamp with you. It is just a lovely, brisk, 25 below wind chill out. It's snowing, it's just delightful. Um, though it's nothing compared to the six inches of snow that some friends of mine received in Texas. I'm sure you're all reeling from that. <laughs> So that'll be fun to watch how y'all handle that. Did you like the y'all? You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend. We had kind of a quiet weekend here. But one of my good friends, Jenna's here. Say hi, Jenna. She, she came to get, get away from Washington State where she's from. So she's here in Iowa where it's like the coldest week of the year. So that's great. She did bring her jacket. So I'm giggling um, because it is just like the worst week ever to be in Iowa. It's no polar vortex, but it's not warm. Um, I really feel like I have makeup on for a certain profession, and it's not the one that I have tonight. I'll tell you that. Whew. This is this is what happens when you can't see yourself in the mirror putting your makeup on because I have to take my glasses off to put my makeup on. It's tricky stuff, you guys. You just, do you understand the complexities of a blind woman trying to put makeup on? It's not pretty, clearly. I feel like I need some gloss too. I don't know. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> anyway, well, we had, um, we had the best afternoon yesterday because Jenna has not watched Outlander. Well, you know I took care of that. So we had a little Outlander marathon yesterday. It was fabulous. Um, and I had to giggle because I got like the most amazing postcard in the mail ever. Let me just show it to you. It says, my love for you is running full kilt. <laughs> and this is from the men in kilts now i sacrificed watching the men in kilts premiere last night so that we could watch the wedding episode of outlander i think i made the right choice but we're gonna totally watch that maybe tonight we'll see what time we finish work um but this was from sam sam hewn you know um and graham mctavish who's on the show he's dougal in in the Outlander and then he's on this show and then Deborah Smith so thank you Deborah that was just like the coolest thing ever I don't know how she did this but oh it just made me totally squeal to get such an awesome uh valentine so thank you so much how awesome was that I'll show you again when I flip my camera around so you can see it better but I just had to share with you <sighs> so amazing <laughs> So that really made me giggle. Um, what else has happened? Have we had anything fun? What fun stories do we have to share? We. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Yesterday, Carl had to go get a rose. <laughs> For a girl. And um, it was really funny because Jenna and I, where did we go? No, no, no. After when well, we went somewhere, oh, and we then, had to get my luggage. Oh, that's right. Jenna didn't. Her luggage was lost, and it was late, and so we had to go to High V or to the airport to pick up her bag because they couldn't get it here. And um, 
they were waiting for us to get back so that they could go deliver the rose. Um, do I know the girl? No. I mean, I've heard, I've heard him talk about her before, but there's a fair amount of turnover, let's just say, in a 14-year-old boy's life. Um, this one has come and has gone and come back again. So, his dad has a big so anyway, his so Andy took him to this girl's house to bring it over to her. And I go, well, how did it go? And he said, well, she gave me a monster, but I said, no, thank you. <laughs> and I'm like, the first rule of gifts is you just politely accept. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I guess I should thank him though, because, because he had to get flowers. Andy was probably pretty much strong armed into getting me some flowers. So I did get a little azalea, right? That's what yeah. that was. Azalea tree, um, that apparently I can plant somewhere. So we got that going for us, which is great. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. So my husband ended up getting me flowers too. So I guess I should thank Carl because I believe I am the one who really benefited from this rose the most. <laughs> anyway, so that was fun. And then um, we had we had our little Outlander marathon. I did some knitting. We stayed warm, mostly inside. It's just been just lovely since Jenna got here. Really so nice. The weather is pretty funny. So, um, yeah, so it's been lots and lots and lots of fun. Um, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so that was our evening. And then tonight is really exciting. Um, Jenna loves Culver's because they don't have them where she lives. So, yeah, so we're going to have Culver's for dinner. And Carl's been dying to have Culver's. That's like one of his favorites as well. So it's a little Midwest treat for Miss Jenna. And then I think, Jenna, we, we should probably go out for steak um, sometime before you leave, don't you think? For some corn-fed beef. Corn-fed yes. beef, yeah. Um, what is Culver's? It's a, it's a burger place. It's a very corn-fed beef. Corn <laughs> beef. It's very much a... Um, it's kind of like an upgrade from Wendy's. Yeah, it's a notch up from like Wendy's. They have cheese curds. There. Yes, <laughs> someone just said get cheese curds. Mm -hmm. They're yeah, and they they're have yummy. And they have frozen custard, which is amazing. Um, like really good. Um, yeah, a lot of people say are saying they like Culver's. Is it like Freddy's? It's similar. Um, they yeah, it's a little different. Yep, butter burgers, which I never really understood what that was, they but. Okay. <laughs> Just because you need, need a little extra. Because there's not enough. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So I always, I like, they have good chicken tenders. I like that. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Like everybody's, there's all kinds of things. They like over some. Yeah. So. <laughs> um. And yeah, Freddy's is new to us. We just got that not too long ago. It's like Culver's. <laughs> it's like Culver's. It is. <laughs> Except their fries are like super skinny. Oh. And they have a little different stuff. I we mean, just got similar. A -A. It's like the biggest thing in town. Yeah, she got a Chick fil A. So that's exciting. I love Chick fil A too. So it's bet. Okay, Culver's is better than Freddy's. Yeah, I would say so too. I think so too. I'm not, I don't, I don't, Freddy's doesn't do it. Carl really likes Freddy's too, but Freddy's is way out on the other side of town. <laughs> we don't want to travel that far. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, so that's the big doings here um, at the Creativity Cave. Very, very exciting stuff as always. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Well, the other big news is I'm very excited to announce. Say hi. Oh, I didn't want to be in the background. Hi. That's okay. Yeah. Everybody loves me. you, Whitney. You're supposed to block me. I okay. Here, I'm blocking you. No one can see you. They can only see my woman of the night makeup now. It's fine. 
Well, I, I've been wiping off some of my makeup. I, got, I was a little heavy handed up top. Oh, I like yeah. Um, <laughs> she's like, wait, you have women of the night makeup on? I want to see. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. So I just have to do this one little thing. Okay, now I'm fine. All right, so anyway, um, I am super excited to uh, share with you some projects today. So I think we're, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Um, but what I was actually about to start saying is I do have some exciting things happening coming up. Um, I have a one day retreat that is going to be happening with my friends Car Barb and Kelly. This will take place on March 27th, but if you register by February 26th, you will get a free class um, with the Berry Blessings Bundle from Celebration, and you will also get two Celebration items as part of your Celebration or as part of your class registration. So you could pick the Berry Blessings bundle as your uh, uh, as one of your items to go with that if you don't already have it, but you'll need that bundle in order to complete the projects for the card class. So it's like a bonus class, which is really awesome. Um, and uh, the event is going to be so much fun. We have all kinds of fabulous things planned. It will be similar to retreats I've done in the past couple years, um, but not quite as involved. So maybe rather than 18 or 20 make and takes, there's, there's more like 12. The goodie bag is going to be amazing, and we've priced it so that it's mostly goodies in your kit, in your box. But you can also do the online-only version. So if you are not in the U.S., uh, we can only ship boxes in the U.S. So if you're not in the U.S., you can still take advantage of the fun. We will have all the good usual stuff, like um, a card swap that is optional to participate in. Blah, up, optional to participate in. Um, you'll also have uh, um, some a card challenge. We'll have mystery stamping. We'll have all kinds of prizes. Um, there'll be prizes for the card challenge and the mystery stamping, but if you don't want to um, participate in those, there's a whole bunch of other prizes that we'll be giving away, so it's going to be great. Uh, and then, of course, it's just going to be an amazing event full of fun stuff. Can I tell us what the theme of the make and takes or what the stamp sets are? Yes, um, they are the uh, hydrangea bundle, the ice cream bundle, the dragonfly bundle, and one more, the lots of hearts bundle. So those and all of that you can add to your registration if you'd like. There is a link to the registration in the description of this video. It's the very first thing. So if you want to get in on it, it's awesome. Um, and uh, there's just going to be lots and lots of fun stuff associated with this event. So I just can't recommend it enough. Um, and so all of that is going to happen on March 27th. And if you would like to get registered, make sure you do it early because I do have a limited number of kits. And once they sell out, they're out. Um, and I don't want you to miss it. So Anyway, I also have, actually, I'm going to change, I'm going to flip my camera so you can see, because I have a really pretty graphic for it. I want you to see it. <laughs> so, here we go. Aha. So, here it is. Isn't that a pretty graphic? <laughs> um, so, like I said, it's March 27th, um, and you can register while uh, supplies last. You won't be disappointed. I can, I can promise you that. Um, I also have a couple of online classes going on this month. The first one is da, 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 All the Chicks. Um, this is, <laughs> I was working, actually I shot one of the videos today for this class. It's so dang cute. Oh my gosh, I can hardly stand it. Um, it's a really great class. It is going to include nine projects with both the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick bundles. And uh, the cards are really awesome. We're going to make a card featuring actually both today. So um, that's going to be fun. 
coming up here in a minute. I also have a Sweet Strawberry Creativity to Go kit that comes out later this month as well. And um, it is going to be a really great class with some super awesome and really fun projects featuring that Sweet Strawberry Bundle. I really recommend this, especially, um, especially because you can get the other bundle that really coordinates with it, which is the Berry Blessings. I highly recommend that. So those two things are coming up later this month. And then da, da, da. Um, both of these will be featured on our Stamp Happy Academy website. If you haven't joined, oh my gosh, the rave reviews continue to come in. Um, one of the things that I love about this is all the classes are all posted in one place. Um, so it's a really great resource, tons and tons of inspiration. There's four classes posted every month. So I just love that. And it's really been a lot of fun. So uh, I hope that you guys will take advantage of this awesome opportunity if you haven't. So, all right. So let's get started. Um, I wanted to start out today by making a project with the um, Simply Succulents bundle. This is one of those bundles I just really love that I haven't played with a whole ton yet. Um, so I thought I would, I really wanted to play with this background. So this is one of the dies in the set and I just cut this out and I have to tell you, I only had to pull out like two pieces. They all just fell right out, which is wonderful. This always makes me nervous when we have these big intricate backgrounds, but I was just so happy with how it came out. Um, so I thought we would play with this to start out with. And um, what I wanted to do was lay this on top of a really pretty background um, that we're going to create. So to do that, I thought I'd pull out some watercolor paper. I want to see if this is the right size or not. Yeah, just a teeny bit too small. Let's see if this piece is any bigger. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think I'm gonna have to cut a piece bigger. Urgh. Okay, that's okay. Is this piece big enough? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so I wanted some watercolor paper. <laughs> you can see I've got some scraps here. And um, I wanted to create a really pretty background. And one of the easiest ways to create a background is to use watercolor paper, in my opinion. Um, and one of the other things that I really like to do is to just take and spritz my, um, my watercolor paper with some water to get the process started. Okay, so I've done that. Okay, so we can use some kind of traditional colors that you might find in succulents. So I've got some pool party, some mint macaron, and I think some rich razzleberry. Okay, so I think these will be nice colors. And um, like I said, I've just got this water on here. And the reason is because it just create it helps the waters or the colors kind of mix and mingle together. I'm going to take our uh, one of our new water painting brushes. Ooh. I think I overfilled this. I just filled it up the other day with water. So it's a little juicy. Okay, so I'm just going to paint on some color. And what's really nice about this is, ugh. oh goodness, that didn't work. Now, if you, uh, our new ink pads are a little trickier to squeeze the lid to. So if that doesn't work, you can just take and put some reinker either in your ink pad lid or on a clear block. Some people like to do it on a clear block, whichever works um, for you is great. And you can see that gets the water or the color out uh, in full force. And here's some pool party. Ooh, my reinker's about out. Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of clean my brush, get the rest of the color out of there, and then pick up some more pool party. And there we go. And you can see I'm not doing anything fancy or looking for anything perfect. I also like to clean my brush on a little rag. This is an old burp rag from when my 14 year old needed burping. It's been a while. Well, <laughs> mostly. And then I'm just gonna add in some of this rich razzleberry. You can put some up here, wherever it feels right. <laughs> Okay, so that looks good. All right. Now, what I want to do is let this dry a little bit. Okay, and then this is going to go over the top. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? I'm already digging it. Okay, so I'm going to hit this with my heat tool just to kind of speed the process up, otherwise we could be waiting for a while. I will also tell you, if you want to do some kind of fun stuff, um, what you can do is take one of your painters, let me use the other one I think, there we go, get it, squeeze the water so it's kind of drippy. Come on. Okay. Oops. Get my water squeezed out. And then I've actually got a clear block. Now this is one of the blocks that comes in with your paper pumpkin kit. And what I like about it is it's got this kind of rough edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flick my paper with water. And actually, maybe this will work better with this one. Because you, what you want is you want it to be juicy there. That's going to work better. Okay. Now, this still has a little color on there, but that's all right. Now, do you see all those droplets on there? Um, now, what I'm going to do is take my cloth, and I'm going to pick this up. I put it on a clean side, by the way. And then when I pick it up, it picks up all those spots like there's speckles. This was kind of a big drip that happened, but that kind of adds a little bit of interest to the background of your card, which is kind of fun. And then the other thing we're gonna do is give this a little spritzen with some shimmer paint. And we'll just keep heating this up that kind of flattens everything out. Okay, so isn't that cool? So um, you can use paper towel to pick those water droplets up, but all you have to do is spritz the water on and then absorb it back up. You will get much better results if the background you're trying to pick up that color from is already mostly dry. You don't want it to be uh, real wet. Otherwise, it'll bleed. You know what I mean? It won't It won't give you the kind of nice speckly look. Okay, now I've got some champagne mist in my alcohol spritzer. And uh, what I want to do is just spritz this a little bit first. Okay, and this might be clogged up because I haven't used it for a little while. Let's see here. Ooh, we're super clogged up. I mean, um, to get this to work, I would just need to, ooh, I think I just need to run either some rubbing alcohol through here or some hot water to get it moving again. But since we're live and we can't really do that, just looking to see if I can see the source of the clog. Yeah, nothing's coming out of here. Okay, so plan B um, is we're going to just spritz it with uh, paint from my clear wing Costella. This will just give us an uneven spritzing, whereas the spritzer would have given us an even spritzing. 
Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna smack it against something. I've got a bit of um, my scissors here, so my Stampin' Snips. Okay, so now I've got lots of little speckles of shimmer on here from this, and you can see it sparkles. Okay, so that looks great. Now, here is one of the things. Now, this was actually something uh, one of my team members asked me to share. Um, oh, last week, maybe? That was one of her requests, was how do you attach that, um, de that detailed background onto the cardstock and get it to stick? So first of all, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so to do that, what we're going to do is my fabulous favorite technique, which is the liquid glue on the silicone craft sheet. Now this is kind of a big um, background, so I'm, I squeezed out quite a bit of liquid glue. Isn't that lovely looking, by the way? <laughs> I won't say what it looks like, because it's just wrong. Okay. But I'm just going to pick up that glue with my sponge. I'm going to turn over my die cut. And then I'm going to start adhering it. You definitely want the adhesive to be all over, but in particular on the edges. And also, through, you know, on the middle here and there. So that it gets tacked down pretty good. Okay, that looks great. Now you don't need a ton of adhesive, but just enough. Okay, and then we're going to just adhere this on. You want to make sure you're covering up. You want to make sure the edges are covered up. Okay, so I've got that on there. I picked up a little from the back side, but what I love about it is there's no glue on the front side, so that works really well. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my gosh, we had a that's what she said at dinner the other night. That was kind of a doozy can't remember what it was but it was wildly inappropriate and it was said by my son of course okay so we've got this on here and now all I need to do is trim off um, the edges here you could do a trimmer um, I just happen to have my snips handy and my trimmer is underneath something so <laughs> That's what helped me choose to use this. Now I die cut this piece, the black panel I started with was four by five and a quarter. And it's just, a, it's almost even, not quite, but pretty close. So isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and I don't know, does it go this way? Does it go that way, this one? I think it can go any way you want it to. It's just pretty. Okay, so now that's not even the whole card. That's just the cool background. Next up. We're going to put this on a white card base. So, well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of this messy piece of paper. Because, actually, I think we are white kind of soaked through a few sheets. Okay, so let's, um, let's put this on our card base. So this is going to be a thick white card base. Grab my bone folder and uh, I'm going to adhere this to the front. Hi. Hi. Hello internet. Say hi to the ladies. Hello ladies. How 432. Is that a record? No. Oh. What can I do for you? I'm going to go work out. Okay. Have fun. Yeah. Love you. Right. Bye -bye. Oh, bye. Hello Sherry. Hello Connie. Hello Sherry. Oh that's that. Well hi Cheryl. Hi Bethann. Hi Megan. Hi Trish. Hi Barbara. Hi Jean, hi Therese. Therese, hi Hippie, Hippie Kansas girl, <laughs> how you doing? Hi Wendy, oh people are going too fast, hi Jennifer, hi. That Jenny. voice, he's growing up, I know, every time it's like lower. Hello. How's the girl with the rose? I told him you had to get a rose and then I got flowers out of the deal. It was a good deal. <sighs> hi Cindy, hi Karen. Um. Also, what was with the Wonder Woman chocolate? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. So you know how I hung out with um, Jordan and uh -huh. Mason and all those people? Yeah. We got each other Valentine's and I bought a Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman chocolate. chocolate Valentine. Yeah, but someone else bought a Wonder Woman chocolate. So I got bath bombs and a Wonder Woman chocolate. 
There you, there you go. It's been an interesting Valentine's Day here. <laughs> the creativity game. Lorene. Okay. okay. Renee. Be, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. You have a good workout. Love you. Love you too. Joy. Joy just said, I can't believe Carl's voice. Is that the octagonal Yes, house? Joy. That's... I love your house. <laughs> um, did you put a protein shake in the freezer? No. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, boy, you guys. Okay. He must sing bass. Oh, my gosh. And he'll even be like, hello. Like, he'll make it even lower than it actually is. Uh, bath bombs and a Wonder Woman chocolate. Wowza. Yeah, right. Wonder Woman chocolate and bath bombs. Who knew? <sighs> so, we're going to take and adhere this to our card base. And I'm going to trim, or I, need, I will need to trim... Um, a little bit extra off because I think my quarter sheet might have been a little more than a quarter sheet, which is fine because that's going to even this out just a little bit. So I'm trying to decide where where we're going to take the excess off. Actually, probably should have put taking it on this side, but that's the beauty of our seal is it is removable mostly i did kind of put a lot on here but it's okay it's okay oh see that's too much oh goodness seriously guys so just a little bit on that side and a little bit on this side no, i don't know i give up this is my final answer for my card <laughs> okay, I'm gonna also I just have to tell you guys, with as cold as it's been and the amount of heat pumping through my house to keep us warm, my house is so hot and dry. I shouldn't say hot because that's really not what's happening here, but it's dry. So now I'm just trimming off the excess from my card base. And hopefully when we turn this over, it's all going to look good. You never know, though. <laughs> I think it will. Um, this is much easier to do with, a, with your snips than it is with a paper trimmer, to be completely honest. And that looks reasonably good. Okay. So there we go. Oh, it's taken us a while to get here, hasn't it? But it was worth the effort, I think. Now, here's what I love about this stamp set. Besides this die, of course, that's my favorite part. There are um, beautiful images to coordinate, and then there's great sentiments that go on here. And then um, there are also coordinating dies. So there's a couple of oblong labels, a couple of skinnier labels, and then there's some other pieces to coordinate with this. So I think we're going to die cut a couple, ooh, a couple of these, and I really like that one, um, to add to our card. And it's going to be really pretty. Maybe, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trying to decide. I think we'll leave it at that. So what I would like to do is um, stamp this sentiment on here. Um, this is such a nice sentiment. You make the ordinary extraordinary. And I think that's a fun sentiment to send to someone. Okay, so I've got a little scrap of white here. So I'm going to stamp this down in some black memento ink. And then I think what would be great to do, and then we'll die cut that with our label die, like so. I think what would be pretty cool to do is have um, some of these little things kind of sticking out from from here and I was thinking they might be kind of cool in vellum so let's give these uh, die cuts a cut also I have to wipe all the pieces <laughs> see look at all the pieces that were on my plate gotta get them off before I cut again okay
Okay. So. Now the other thing we could do is take a little bit of, this is our pool party ribbon. And if you recall, we put some pool party um, ink was one of our colors. So we can put a little zigzag of this in addition to those little um, thingies, whatever those are. I love the look of them though. There's like little bullet, blobby, bulby things. <laughs> and yes, that is my official name for what's happening here. Okay. And then, then we're gonna pop this up. So let me grab a couple of these because that'll help hold that ribbon in place. And just put a few of these on here, like so. It's gonna be so pretty. And then I'm gonna actually maybe tuck these on the top side of this so you can see them a little better. And maybe, maybe even we add a couple white ones to this. to really kind of stick out. So hold on, let me quick cut a couple more. Oh my gosh, Marty just said, wow, y'all need to try puberty with six boys. My twins were skirt chasers. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> no. Marty, do you by chance have any gray hair? I do. <laughs> I can't imagine six times as much gray hair. <laughs> okay. So I want to put these in so that they don't look exactly the same. You know what I mean? So I might even take and rip one off and put it in a different spot just so that these don't look exactly the same. They're not lined up so perfectly and that looks a little better. And then we'll just tuck them in like this. Now, if they're not touching adhesive, we will um, stick them down in with a glue dot or something to make sure they stay in place. And you can rip off the little ends as needed. <laughs> Oops. Oh, none of these are really in there. Okay. Alrighty. Your six were enough? Yeah, I bet they were. <laughs> oh my gosh, I seriously. I We have a rule at our house, which is never let them outnumber you. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good rule. <laughs> okay, oh gosh, this one's still not in there either. I just was sticking things in there and not paying attention. Okay, so there we go. Now, uh, I also want to add a little fun stuff. Oh, Whitney, you're missing all of my good, my good comments. I'm sticking stuff in places and... 
Yeah, Whitney has three boys. I know, that's true. Whitney well, is not authorized to get pregnant. But I can bring the baby. Bring the baby <laughs> she can bring the baby. She just can't have any more babies. It's not allowed. It's valuable. true. It's very true. <laughs> I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything. She's she's not authorized for maternity leave. Or workman's comp. Or workman's comp, yeah. <laughs> to use her own words, if you get hurt, you stay hurt. It's true. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so there we go. There's our first card. That one was kind of a long time getting there, but it's so pretty. I love that background. Um, it's just so gorgeous in person. So hope you like this. All right, our next card is a little simpler, but it's kind of fun. Actually, it's very fun. It's just a little different. Um, there was a guest request for a uh, dragonfly garden class, or not class, a dragonfly garden card. Um, and this is one of the bund bundles we're going to be featuring in our um, retreat coming up. So I'm very excited about this. I really like this stamp set a lot. Uh, so let me show you how this card comes together. I combined this with our dandelion embossing folder, which I just love. And we're going to make a really cute card. So I started with a piece of... Um, of three and three quarters by five mossy meadow. And then I embossed that with our beautiful um, 3D embossing folder with the dandelions. Now I'm going to adhere it on top of a layer of bumblebee, but I, um, I emboss or I die cut the a label out of this. This is from the tasteful text, the tasteful labels dies. It's all those awesome labels from the annual catalog. And I'm just going to layer these two pieces together. And that is just so pretty. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't offer some spritzing on this. So we'll do a little bit of that. It looks fantastic on this darker cardstock. And of course, I don't know about you, but I envision there being spritzes uh, on here. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. So pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna take some of our woo, gingham ribbon. I just had a landslide here. Um, which, what did I do with my gingham ribbon? Well, let's just see here. I can't find it. So I'm going to keep going because I know I will find it eventually. Um, I'm going to add some gingham, gingham, gingham <laughs> ribbon to this. Ooh, is this it? No. Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. That's strange. Anyway, um, but I also need to cut out a couple of dragonflies. And one of the things I love about this is the punch that goes with. So I've got a scrap of my bumblebee. Um, yes, the embossing fo folder is in the annual catalog. So I'm just gonna punch a couple of dragonflies and we're gonna add those to our embossed piece. So I'll take some, a glue dot to put each of them down. So pretty. Okay, now in this stamp set, it has amazing sentiments. And you know what, I, since I can't find my gingham ribbon, I'm gonna actually put maybe a piece of this DSP down. That could work. That could work just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take some, one of my sentiments from here. And like I said, there's some really good sentiments in here. I like, thank you for your kindness. That's uh, just a really good all purpose sentiment. And I need thank you cards um, a lot. So that would help too. And I'll stamp this in some Mossy Meadow ink.
right in the center. Now, what I'm going to do is, ins I was going to put some gingham ribbon on here, but I can't find it. It's on my desk somewhere, but yeah, I can't find it. So that's bugging me. So that we don't have to wait, I'm just going to adhere this little panel or this little strip across here. Um, this piece I was actually going to put on the inside of my card, but I can cut another one because that's easy enough to do. We'll just trim this off. And then we'll pop this up over the top. And we have the makings of just a beautiful card. Very simple. And this die, or I'm sorry, this embossing folder just goes so perfectly with this. So I think that's really fun. Okay, so then uh, I've got a lay, so we're gonna put this on a card base that is crumb cake. And I'm going to also decorate the inside of my card. And let me give this a good crease because it's not got the crease yet. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Now we're not even done yet, so just wait. Okay, so then on this piece, um, we can take some of the different images that are in here, either the larger dragonfly, or I think I'm gonna use the smaller one, and stamp those around and then add a little of interest a little bit of interest to the inside of my card so i've got my crumb cake ink and i'm just going to stamp these like so and i think that's upside down so let's do that <laughs> and we'll put some over here like so for the inside and then um, as mentioned we can either do the same pattern of DSP or we can change it up careful we can probably do this one I like this so I just cut another half inch strip and I'm gonna position that at the bottom here. And this paper is so beautiful. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, I don't really like it. But when I saw it in person and saw how the, especially these patterns, I just loved how beautiful they are. And they go so nicely together and they're, they're kind of, they can add a subtle little touch. Now I am putting this crumb cake panel on the inside of my crumb cake card, but doesn't that look fancy? Like, I think that makes my card look really pretty. So there we go. Okay. Um, so the other thing is that I think we need to put a little gem here in the center of these. I'm going to use my champagne rhinestones because I think they'll look really nice with this. And yeah, somebody said so, sometimes the catalog does not do the DSP justice. That is so true. And look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Super pretty. Okay. Yeah, I really have liked this bundle. I've made a bunch of cards um, for this, for our upcoming retreat, and I'm really excited about them. They're pretty cool. Okay, next up, I wanted to make this card, and this is, I have to explain a little bit about where this card came from. Um, my daughter, as some of you might know, had a little had a few challenging times in her first semester of college. And so I had nominated her on my Sending Sunshine and Rainbows group to receive cards to brighten her day. And she, um, one of her favorite card colors was yellow. This was back in, oh, late October, early November, maybe, probably November. Um, she had just gone through a lot of adulting that was tr challenging, and she received a whole bunch of cards. Well, one of them was this card, and I'm pretty sure this card is, well, I know um, the person who made it, she cased it, I believe, from somewhere, but um, it is just such a cute card. 
And so I wanted to kind of recreate this using the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick stamp sets. So this is, um, this is a, what's this color, this card called? A slimline card. Goodness, I forgot. Oh my gosh. But, well, okay, don't let me forget. I have some a prize to give away at the end of our class today. So I've got a seven by eight and a half inch piece of DSP. And by the way, this was done, uh, this card was made by Sue Lantham. And I have to say, I loved this card because uh, Ella said it was one of her favorites. And so she was showing me her cards and um, I wanted, uh, she, this was one of the ones she picked out as her favorite. And of course, cause she really liked this chicken. <laughs> So, of course, I loved that. All right. So, I'm going to take and I want to score my card so I get a nice crease. So, I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer. And it was just buried under a couple of things. So, I'm going to score this at three and a half inches. Okay. And that'll give me a good crease on this big piece of cardstock. Okay, so that's my slimline card. Now I want to stamp my chickens. So we're going to stamp these chicks in a uh, black memento, and then we're going to color them in with our Stampin' Blends. Now Sue stamped and colored hers in with um, watercolor pencils. And that's wonderful, but I am too impatient to do that, I'm just saying. So <laughs> we're gonna improvise. Um, I'm also going to take and add one of the chicks from my Hey Birthday Chick bundle. Oh, I already have mounted that one, I forgot. Because it's just so dang cute. Okay, so we've got our four, four, five different chicks for this card. This is a five chick card. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with kind of a nice solid back <laughs> chick so that we can stack the rest on top of, of this gal down here. Okay, so... We're gonna start right here with this one. And then we're gonna add this this gal on top. I don't know, how do you tell a chick from a boy chick, a girl chick from a boy chick? The cockadoodle -doo. Cock do like they don't look different? Are these girl chicks or boy chicks? I think those are all girl chicks. Girl chicks, okay. Get it, chicks are girls, yeah. I don't know. I suppose there aren't Oh, that's the official name is hens. Is that kind of like cows are girls? And then boy cows are bulls? Bulls and steers. And steers, yeah. Heifers are unbred. Dina doesn't know a lot about the ways of animal husbandry. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. By the way, Carl is going to be die cutting... Um, <laughs> Die cutting, what am I talking about? Dissecting pigs. Oh boy. I can't wait for this. No, you're not getting help from Carl. That will not go well. You know it won't. Okay, so there we go. There's our this is my spirit chick. Okay. Then on top of her, by the way, my chick tower is leaning a little. Um, ooh, ooh, that was juicy. I just inked pad the sink. <laughs> They're all dying because <laughs> I just said juicy. Okay, and then last but not least is our birthday chick. Boom, at the top. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so now we got to color all these chicks in. 
Um, we're going to add a few sentiments to this as well. And what is really awesome is um, there's little sentiments that come with both of the sets. Yes, it is a full-on leaning tower of chicks. <laughs> oh, it makes me giggle. I haven't even used these. I don't, I, I don't know if I still have this set from when it was a celebration set or not. So I just ordered it again because I couldn't, well, I didn't look. I kind of think I gave it up, but I don't know. Okay, so, um, Hey Chick, which is just like cute. And then on the other, um, so we've got Hey Chick, have a happy day, and you're a good egg. So obviously we'll put the you're a good egg up here with the egg. You're a good egg. And then hey chick, which clearly goes with that one. And then have a happy day. Goes right there. All right. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm all about the non-traditional chicken colors. Now, I do know chicks come in a wide variety of colors, but we're going to maybe take some uh, chicken liberties this afternoon in our coloring of these chicks. I'm just saying, I want you to be prepared for what's about to happen. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to get our colors. I've got my daffodil. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got a magenta madness because you just never know. Um, I feel like this chick has some magenta madness happening in her. I mean, it's just, it seems natural to me. You like chicken liberties? I know, right? It's my chicken card. I can make her how I want. <laughs> okay, so I've got light and dark. And then, of course, her hair is going to have light and dark areas as well. I guess maybe the tips I should make lighter and then the base can be darker. But this just makes me happy. I like to think that my spirit chick does have magenta madness hair color. Don't worry, there'll be Coastal Cabana on here as well, so it's, it's all going to work out. Oh, yes, this is, this is what we've been working for. Okay, so I'm just going to add some dark areas in here. <sighs> All right. And then her beak is going to be pumpkin pie. And this one is going to have pumpkin pie feet. And pumpkin pie feet. And pumpkin pie feet. <laughs> okay. Then I think pumpkin pie feet on this one too. Sorry. Okay. But her body, I'm feeling pretty strongly, is some Bermuda Bay and some pool parties. So... This is light Bermuda Bay, and then we're going to do some pool party. To blend. <laughs> um, this, this chick right here is from the other set. So the bottom four chicks are from the Hey Chick set, and then the top chick is from the Hey Birthday Chick set. Don't worry, Jenna, we don't judge at the Creativity Cave. It's 
sugar-free. That's good. I got enough sugar here. I know. Okay. There we go. Oh, thanks for the call out for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Okay, next up, um, I feel like this chicken is going to have maybe just a little yellow happening here. But otherwise, mainly red. Or, I'm sorry, white. Uh, and then... in the red for the thing up here. What's the thing at the top called? The I don't remember. Okay, then this one we're going to have some fun feathers here. Comb. Is that what this thing is called? The comb? I don't know. So I'm to get this kind of coastal cabana e color, what I'm using is the light Bermuda Bay with the dark pool party. So kind of two sets of blends. Okay. And then we're gonna color her in with Daffodil Delight, for the most part, we'll add a little, actually, I'm going to add a little darker Daffodil Delight on here. Okay. Like that. And then a little bit of red. Does she have a face? Yep, right here. Now that is, oops, what color is this? That is dark red, I guess. So I gotta put some light red on here to blend it out. Oh, so cute. Oh, the wad, okay, so this is the waddle and then this is the comb. That This is good to know, people. Thank you for your help with this. Okay, now up here, we're gonna have a little red, a little orange, and a little yellow. Oops. I'm going to do this yellow. Oh, gosh, but I got to pick the right end. And we'll color this chicken to be yellow. and maybe a red beak. I'll just blend this just a little bit better. Oh, it's just so cute. Okay. Um, then the other thing is I want to color that chicken just a teeny bit. So for that, what I'm going to use is some, let's see, I thought I had a smoky slate blend out here. Here we go. Um, we'll just put a little bit of smoky slate on here. And then what I'm gonna do is blend it out with my white so that it's not a lot. It's just, just a little bit of color. 
like that. Okay. All right. So this is just silly, silly, silly cards. All right. Now I'm going to adhere this to my layer of black. So this panel is three inches by eight inches. Um, when blending, which end do you use? I use almost exclusively the bullet end. Um, it just, I have more control over it. If I'm coloring a big area, like on this chick right here in the yellow portion, I did use the bigger, the brush end. But generally speaking, I use almost exclusively the bullet end because um, I can press on that a little harder. I don't want to kind of ruin the... Uh, the brush end by pressing too hard with it, you know, which you which can happen. I'll show you an example. Um, this is a pretty well loved, you can see brush end, and it loses its pointiness if you're too rough with it. But that's one of my very well used markers. Okay, so there we go. Um, and then we're going to adhere this to our card like so. I had my adhesive in my hand. Here we go. So um, this is a three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inch panel of black. And then of course it will go onto our card, which is three and a half by eight and a half inches folded. Okay, so there we go. Now, uh, as mentioned, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put some, let's see. I'm gonna put some of my dots on here. I've got, these are my in color enamel dots and I think I'll just put a few on my card like so, just to add a little bit of fun. Oops. Okay. And then on the inside of my card, um, let's, Stamp, let's celebrate you. And actually, I feel like we should add this chick to the inside. My spirit chick. <laughs> so, let me cut one more panel quick. This is about right. So the inside panel is going to be three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to make an envelope for this. It's pretty easy to do. Ooh. Well, how many? Oh, I only have one card left, so that's okay. We can make an envelope. Okay. So now this birthday chick is just so stinking cute. And then let's celebrate you can go up here at the top. Okay. Um, now, obviously, we're going to have... Some dark, crazy hair. On here. Blend it out with some light. This is Magenta Madness again. So cute. <laughs> um, okay. Then for the cake. Well, actually, I'm going to color this all in with my light Bermuda Bay, and then we're going to add a little dark Bermuda Bay. And we'll do a yellow candle and yellow cupcake liner. 
put a little bit more dark on here. And then we need our beak and feet. And then I think I'm going to do my chicken in, this is a lot, in pool party. You can see this is, this is one of my actually well-loved markers, so. <laughs> I'll do the other side to get the detail. And I'll add some accents with my light Bermuda Bay, that because that was my dark pool party. And then, of course, the tail feathers. Which we just have to add. Oh my gosh, I just think it's so fun. Um, if you're watching, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would really rock. That would be so awesome. YouTube loves it when people like my videos, so I'd appreciate it. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of dark Bermuda Bay on here. Maybe even a couple dots here. And then the last thing I need to do is color the face in real quick like so okay so there is this also would be my spirit chicken I just dropped one of my chickens off the table <laughs> okay and that we've got one more card which to do after this which is a guest request for the springtime whatever whatever it's an it's a it was a guest request, which I've had for a couple weeks now, so I wanted to make sure I got it made for you guys. Okay, so now our epic chick card is just about complete. Okay, so there we go. Huh? Isn't that just too much fun? All right, now for a envelope. I'm going to pull out some DSP. This is um, this is some of the Love You Always DSP. Now, to make this, um, it's really simple. You just need your trimmer. Okay, so our card is eight and a half inches. So we want to, this is gonna be a little tricky because my desk is pretty full of stuff. Um, we want to start by making um, a flap that's just a little bit longer. So like maybe, I've got it at 10 and a half inches, okay? And then it's three and a half inches wide. So we want it to be about three and three quarters wide plus a good, th maybe a three quarters of an inch. So three and three quarters. So I'm gonna, well, actually first I'm gonna do a three quarter inch flap. So I'm gonna score this at three and three quarters inch. Okay, and then so I'll go over three and three quarters plus three quarters inches, four and a half. And hopefully there's enough paper left for this. Is there? Mm, pretty close. Okay, it's gonna work. Then what I wanna do is, again, I want this to be about, um, we're gonna give it a half of an inch, on, or three quarters of an inch on the bottom score that's going to be our um our fold and then up here we want to put it to, we want to make sure it's tall enough 
So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna score here. And I'm gonna pull this out like so. Okay, so let's, here's the only tricky part is the scoring. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna fold in on our score lines. Okay, so we'll adhere to this, so that'll work. And then we're going to leave this part for our flap and cut off the rest. And I'm actually gonna cut in ever so slightly on that top flap. You know, as an envelope has a little bit of an angle and then we'll cut off that little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be our flap to seal our card. And then likewise, we don't need this portion either. So I'm gonna cut in, get rid of this. And I'll cut in at just a bit of an angle and get rid of that. Okay, so let's put this all together. I'll fold this flap in and it can be on the outside or the inside. It's really just up to you what your personal preference is. Um, I'm going to put some adhesive on the very edge of this. Again, I've lost my adhesive. Oh, here it is. Whew. Okay. So I don't want it the whole length. I'm just putting it about half. And yes, I just got adhesive on there and that's okay. Okay, and then I'll put adhesive here. Okay. And then we'll fold that over. And voila. Here, oops. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, but this will come right off. That's no biggie. We'll just get rid of this paper so as to not stick anything else. And then our card is going to fit in here like a dream. Now, the other thing we can do to this, if you want, is pull out a punch. Eh, this might not fit in there, but this will. I'm just gonna punch in here like that, okay? And then that way you've got something to grab your card on. And then of course you can seal this over and luckily <laughs> the seal covers what I punched out. If not, I could add a piece of cardstock to this. And then you just fold it up and then you can seal this. This will, this will ship just like with a regular stamp as long as the weight is under, so yeah. So yeah, there you go. Isn't that fun? Um, somebody asked, would this not fit in a DL envelope? I'm not sure what DL means, but yes, it would fit in a business-sized envelope. So um, yep, that's fine, but this is prettier. So okay, um, there you go. That is our chick card with our spirit chicks. <laughs> so cute. Okay, our final project today is a pretty quick card. It's going to feature the Springtime Joy stamp set. This was, as I mentioned, a guest request. I just gotta find my piece here. Um, so first I've cut a three by four inch piece of this gorgeous fine art floral DSP. Okay, and then I'm going to use this lamp. Now, I want you all to know I wasn't going to get this stupid stamp set, but here we are. Um, I ended up getting it because, of course, I saw cute cards with it. So I had to. So just like you, I had to get the stamp set. Um, so we're going to stamp. Um, I haven't even used it. It's brand new. Okay, so, and then we'll put the Easter sentiment on the inside and we're gonna put some welcome spring on there as well, along with our cute little Easter bunny cause she's just so stinking cute. All right, now 
what I'm going to do with this DSP, so this is three by four inches. I'm going to adhere it to um, a panel of um, Blushing Bride cardstock. Okay. All right. So I've got that on there. It's just a touch bigger, so we'll just trim that extra bit off because that bugs me. Just saying, it does. All right. Then I'm going to take, we've got some beautiful um, Blushing Bride, kind of, it's called metallic ribbon. It's got a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. And I'm just going to tie this around my card. And if I'm feeling lucky, we're going to try and add a bow. Um, somebody asks, is asking if business size envelopes work and the answer to that is yes they do they're just not as pretty okay so i'm going to tie my bow we'll see how this goes because what i want is for the shimmery side to be out i might actually change my mind and let me show you what i'm gonna do on this i'm going to glue dot the ends around here Hey guys, yes. I need one of those boxes open for my video. Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna take what is left of this and I'm gonna tie a bow. And you can see I'm gonna flip this. This one? Whatever, yeah. Sorry, I already one. Yeah, sorry I didn't think of it till now. Oops. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to make it so the pretty side is hanging out, and it is. I'm very happy. Okay. Ooh, Rosie, you're on here. I got your email, and we're we're sending you um, your requested items. <laughs> doesn't matter thanks okay there we go all right so we'll just snip the end of that and the end of that and we'll add this to our card here in a minute okay so that's going to go like that okay next up um we're going to do a little stamping so i've cut die cut our second to largest stitched circle from the stitched shapes and then I'm going to stamp my little lamb here in some black memento ink once again and I'm going to color this in with a little bit of my Stampin' Blends. Okay so it almost entirely fits on here. I don't like the lamb, but the card is so dang cute I had to get it. Just saying. I don't like the lamb. I Well, actually, it's really, it's the bunny that I don't like more, but what do I know? I got sucked in. I got it. I bought it. I wasn't gonna. Here we are. What are y'all looking for back there? Um, if they're not in that bottom adhesive drawer, it might mean that we don't have any more. Okay. Write me a note to order more. We're out of glue dots, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's not good. We don't run out of glue dots in this place. Okay. Then we also have the Easter sentiment, which we'll stamp as well on here. And in case you're counting, that would be two memento black ink pads that I have out right now. <laughs> like that. Okay. Now let's do a little coloring. So we're going to leave our bunny clean and white. We're just going to color those pretty flowers in. And then same with our lamb. We're going to color 
um, mostly just the flowers. We'll do a little gray on her hooves like that. And you know, well, don't eat, but wouldn't the ears be gray too? I don't know. I can't remember. All right. Um, ba -ba -bum. So I'm going to take my red and color in these pretty flowers. So I'm going to put some dark in the center and then we'll blend that out to the light on the edges. Hi, thanks. My husband just came in and picked up my bot my dropped chicken. That was nice. Oh, and I forgot I needed to put red on them on these as well. So I just put a little dark in the center. And the fun part about this, of course, is you could do all kinds of colors, but the red I chose because it, co it coordinates nicely with um, the DSP that we're using. And then my card base is also red. So it's just pretty. Uh, Poppy Parade would wor work really nicely or uh, Calypso Coral. All of those would work really nice. Okay, then I'm gonna use a little bit of light Granny Apple Green for the leaves um you could use old olive as well i like the granny apple because it's kind of a brighter color um it will look nice with either it with the dsp too so okay and then just a few here okay so cute oh my gosh all right, so we're going to add this to a, a scalloped circle. Yeah, I think um, this looks like a fat bunny, but not in the good way. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So I've, no, you're fine. <laughs> We're good. It's all good. All right. And then this is going to go on the inside. Da, 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 da. Ooh, something got stuck to my adhesive. I don't know what that is, but it's okay. There we go. Then on the outside, we've got our DSP panel that we're going to adhere. And I like to put a little adhesive over the ribbon. That just ensures that it doesn't get any wild ideas like letting go. It's stuck down for good. It looks like a bunny peep. I don't, I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> I'm kind of a little snot about it, I guess. I, I just, I think they could have made these so much cuter. I'm just saying. And this is a fat lamb, not in a good way. And as a knitter, I like a fat lamb. <laughs> Are you dying? I'm dying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Where are my dimensionals? I know I only have like eight sheets out on my desk. See, I know it's time to be done with this because I can't find the dimensionals. No, I've got it. We're going to have to... Slum it with some minis. <laughs> We're going to use the edge pieces of minis as regulars. Oh, goodness. Seriously. You're telling your husband about Outlander? Yes. Nice. Okay, here we go. So we've got our lamb on here. We're going to add the bow right here because it's so cute. Oh, thank goodness that wasn't like an actual. Okay, we've added the bow. So 
so cute. And then the other sentiment, here we go. We needed to add this. It's right here and it says, welcome spring. And since the major conversation topic on this little live today has been all about the weather, I'm thinking y'all are ready for spring especially if you live in Texas. Well, don't worry, you're gonna, your stuff will melt in no time. I just checked, it's gonna warm up. In Texas? Everywhere. Everywhere. Welcome spring. Oh, so cute. Now there's one little thing we're gonna do to finish this off and then we'll be done. And that is put some little gems in the center of these pretty flowers. So I've just got some rhinestones here to add in the centers. And oh, it's so pretty. There you go. I know you're welcome. Now you all need it too. I'll use it again. I promise. I'm going to close this up. Okay. So let me bring back in all the cards I made for you today and then remind you of a few things. First and foremost, if since I know I convinced some of you you needed your chicks and your springtime animals, I would really appreciate it um, if you ordered from my online store. There's a link in the description of this video. That would be so appreciated. Um, it helps me continue to bring these free videos to you each month or each week, pardon me. <laughs> so there we go. We've got our Easter card. We've got our crazy chicks card complete with coordinating envelope. So awesome. Um, and then we've got this beautiful dandelion dragonfly card and we started things off with this gorgeous watercolor background that we created for this succulent card so I hope you loved these projects um, don't forget to shop my online store like I said the links in the description of this video um, I also have my one day retreat coming up so please register for that again link in the description of this video uh, don't forget to share this video on Facebook um, and you'll be entered in oops in a drawing for prizes um, today's winner is Sonia De Silva now, I normally give stamp sets away, but Sonia, I, I am almost 100% believe, lives in um, Canada. And because of Stampin' Up! rules, I can't send her a stamp set. But I would be glad to send her a online class for free. So, Sonia, just email me your choice of online class and um, you can enjoy a free online class from me. Um, she shared, uh, she religiously shares my video, so I was kind of excited to draw her name today. So congratulations to you, Miss Sonia. Um, also, shop my online store. Okay, uh, it really helps me um, bring free videos, and I have gifts with purchases over $50. Okay, and also Stampin' Up! has gifts for purchases over $50. It's called Celebration Time. Um, you get a free gift for every $50 you spend. So if you spend $100, you get two. If you spend $150, you get three, and so on and so forth. Um, that is going to end on February 28th. Don't wait. We will have another round of celebration coming this summer, but it's different products. So this will be your last chance to get these fabulous items. Um, and then I've got my one day retreat. It's called a spring virtual retreat. Okay. And it is going to be um, available when you order by 226, you get a free class with the Berry Blessings bundle. Uh, 
Okay. Um, and then I also have the All the Chicks online class and the Sweet Sweetest Strawberry, S-W-E-E-T-E-S-T. -E -E Those are my classes for this month, S-T-R-A-W Berry um, online classes. And if you would like to register for those, please email me at D-R-E-K-O-W at Yahoo, and I will send you the links to get registered for those. Uh, these classes come out next week. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer them, especially if you're watching after I'm done with the live. Again, a thumbs up would be so appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. We will see you right back here next Monday. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, I...